Yo, what's up guys, La here. So today I'm doing a start to finish for Basic Waves yet again. I did previously do one which uh, will be linked maybe somewhere here or up here. Um, and so yeah, this time I am back with a breakbeat pack which I've uh, teamed up with Basic Waves to produce a, a really cool breakbeat style pack, like drum pack. Um, and so I'm going to be showcasing that in this start to finish. I'll show you a little bit of the drums before we get stuck in. So it's here, it's this one. And um, what we have is kind of two sections. So we have this acoustic folder, which is all of the original acoustic drums that I got from a professional drummer. He got some cool loops, drum fills, one shots, and uh, they're all in here. Right, really nice, raw acoustic sounds. And then I've um, matched them up with some like electronic drums and then made some cool uh, la loops. Yeah, some really cool uh, sounds in there. Really proud of this pack. I'm probably going to be using it for, for many years in many of my songs. Uh, so yeah, check it out. It'll probably be linked down below if you guys want to grab it. But let's get stuck in. So um, I, what I think I'll do, I've got what, the way I do my drums is I'll have, I have them all in these um, racks. And I'm just going to load in all of the one shots from this pack. So all the kicks. Just load them in. Uh, here and then I think we'll start with a kick or maybe start with a bit of a drone I find it quite awkward to just start with nothing I like a bit of a drone there I can make a drone with this Hydra uh, so I just need to choose the key that I want and not C major we're gonna do something moody could just do like a F minor let's do that And then, so for this, the Hydra, you can't see what's going on with it, but I mostly just use it for really pretty pads and like it's, it's got these amazing uh, patches for pads. So like this. I don't know if you're sure if you can hear that. Yeah, it's very faint and that's what I want, like this kind of dusty sound. And so I'm just going to basically just hold down F. Well, I could just record this now actually. Oh, something messed up there. Let's try that again. So I'll ju I'm just press down the root note F. And now uh, you should probably record when I do that. I'm doing this very confusingly. It might be a bit low, but it's kind of nice. Turn up a bit. Yeah, I quite like that. I might just add in like a third. Yeah, do that. Do that. Play with it. I think this won't end, so I need to just kind of... <laughs> just had to fade it down with the... I mean, I, I might not even use this bit, but I just kind of want a clean um, drone sample. So I'll just let this play. And then we could just loop. I even just loop like here. 
Alright, now we'll add some drums. So I think what we'll do is I'll start with a bit of a um, loop. Not the full loops because I want to add some stuff to them, but maybe even just that. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Let's go to like one, two, five. That's nice and full. That's very full. I think I want one of these. Yeah, that one's cool. That's like kind of garagey. Let's turn it down a bit. Yeah, and then I'll add some more stuff. Well, let's get a kick in. I don't need to be this long. Something like this. Put the velocity up. Yeah, I mean, that's great as it is. I'll just try some of the other kicks just to see. It's a bit more subtle. That also. That one's nice. A bit clicky, that one. That's quite pretty breaksy. Yeah, that one's really good. It's very acoustic sounding, but I think I like the, I love the, the punch on that one. So let's go with that. It's a bit big. I'm just going to shorten it a bit. It depends because you could have a bass that's quite stabby and then you would want this long kick. But in this case, I think I'm going to have a bit of a sustained sub. Alright, let's add a little bit more drums, just to uh, keep it a bit more interesting. So, I'll grab all these hats. I, the drum racks are already loaded up with like my out-of-the-loop stuff that I use, but I'm just going to put all these in here, and then I can just choose them. So, do this. This is a good hat to start the, the hats with. And then do... Adds that kind of acoustic feel to the drums. Don't need to do it very big, just maybe a little bit softer, or we'll see if there's another one. Mm, I quite like that. Actually, it might just have that as a layer, do like this. Classic, like, housey. Kind of want, like, a bit of a crash. I do have some crash samples in here, actually, which are in the acoustic uh, ones here. Yeah, here. I could just do it like this. Just grab one. Loads of reverb on there. That's a bit bigger. Probably too big. Yeah, let's have a subtle one. Yeah, and then just something else in here.
yeah, I like that little shuffle in there. Just make sure this is looping. This as well, we could duplicate this, half it, and then do a sweep. So it can just constantly be kind of sweeping into itself. And we'll do, oh, like that. Yeah, it's just working this little area for now. I want to do something at the end here. No, not that. Also, make this a bit bigger. Yeah, that was it. This one here. A little bit more interest in here. Yeah. Now I think what I'll do before I get carried away is I'm going to add some groove. I do love a bit of swing. It's already loaded up here. Not this strong one, maybe this one. Put it on here. Put it on here. I put it on the kick as well. It's not super strong, but it adds a little grooviness. Okay, so now I want things to be this track to be quite moody. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with the bass. Um, probably I don't know if I want to do like a moog bass. Or I might do my typical kind of chord stabby thing. What I have in my mind is I kind of want to do like a frost overtone. It's like da 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 da, which is like a chord stab. Um, but I'm not going to do that exact melody or whatever, but kind of influenced by there. So I'm going to go with Serum. Um, and maybe, let's see what Basic Waves has. Maybe there's something in here. Actually, yeah, let's do the bass. Start from here. <laughs> My timing is so off. I might just do that to start with. Ooh. Obviously, with the timing being nice, and then the patch, I think I'll just change it slightly. So it's like kind of playing off that hat pattern. And I think this, I just want it to be like a little subtle punch. Let's just have a flick through. Oh. Yeah, kind of like that. I don't know if that's too low. Oh, it's too uh, too much reverb. I think we just... Cut. Ah, yeah, it's this. Ah, but it kind of needs a bit of that. Ah, okay.
that's it that's all i want just like a little subtle let's put this into the base group i think i don't have any side chain on here no Need to put the swing on. I put the velocity the same. Let's check the volume. Okay, so I'm just going to sort the volume here a bit. I want this to be around six. And then I'm going to produce into this limiter. Might put a little compressor on to the drums as well. With breaks, you could you could do this with sidechain because nothing is landing when the kick is landing. Ah, uh, maybe it is. Wait one second. Ah, uh, yeah, that hat is okay. So maybe I could just do it with the the loop. It's just going to make the the drums kind of groove a bit more with the kick. There is something awkward about this, the timing of this. I don't know if it's like not quantizing or... But yeah, it's this. It lands at the same time as the kick. So it needs to be... Yeah, probably like that. Something about that, ah, it's because there's a double kick there. So if I do... Yeah, this is not quite right. Could do that or do a The side chain is too strong, so it's kind of just muffling the the sound. And this is too awkward. It needs to be. Getting very garagey right now. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, ba, dun. Hmm, something about this. Let me just try getting rid of this double kick. There we go. 
Well, I started out thinking of doing something like fast overturners, and now I'm thinking to do some kind of garagey thing. But hey, yeah, let's see where it goes. Copy this over. Okay, so now we have a bit of a bass. It might have a little bit too much reverb on. Let me just check this. I wanted it to be a bit more centered, so I just took off a bit of the, um, you know, stereo enhancing. Okay, so now a little bit of something else, like um, some cool bassy stab of some kind. Let me just get rid of the MIDI here. <laughs> that is an MXV sound right there. First, I think I need to find the position, but I'm thinking of just like a little boom, like a womp of some kind. Can't go wrong with a bit of a womp. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty cool sound. And what even if I, well, let me just find this sound. This sound does work, but it might be a better one. Hmm. Hmm. Why do I want this? I guess it's here. But I think what I want is more of a Yeah, something like that. This is adding resin. I think there's another filter. Ah, uh, yeah, there is. So if this goes on to here, did not mean to do that. Ah. Something so ah, that's better. 
Just some kind of ear candy sound, really. Maybe a bit of distortion, like a pedal or roar. Do love this roar. Just for some weird stuff uh, like this. A bit too strong. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Alright, just call this a womp. Now I need a bit of a melody. Something to go along with it. So we could do Diva for this. Serum I can do a bit more with FM and I I do want a bit of a FM E sound. Ooh, what am I doing? Do that. And I think I'll go with let's see, there might be something in here. quite subtle which could be a good starting point um, I need to get the bass notes like this so then with this do a chord Don't like that big jump. So what am I playing there? E B, which is D sharp, so F would be the fifth of that. Uh, third, fourth, fifth. This could maybe be a, something else. Yeah, I do like that. I kind of like that it's repeating here. Uh, I want something a bit more moody though. Why is this not closing down? This is such a big sound. I can't understand how to close this down. This is
Yeah, that's, that's what I want. Just like a little FME sound. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, maybe let me actually just try an octave this down. Ah, it needs that. Kind of need a little turnaround on the melody as well. So something like that. And then maybe on the... Yeah, so on the... On the... On the 8. The end of the 8. What have I done here? Uh, like this. Like this. And there would like a little... Du -du -dun -du -du, something like that. <laughs> uh, not that, I was just putting things there to see, but uh, da -dum -da -da. Da -dum -da -da. Hmm. Ah, making the wrong. Let me just loop here. The timing of this feels really off. Maybe it's like um, this. Stay on the same, maybe. Okay. 
that's kind of messing with the groove. Maybe that's a bit. Uh, right. Got a bit of a melody, I guess. But what I want is a bit more of a hook sound. And it's not perfect, this sound. I don't know how much time I want to spend kind of perfecting it, but... That's better. This is just adding up to it. This kind of messes with the timing, so I think I'm going to take off that. Yeah. Could put a bit of OTT on this as well. Yeah. Okay, sounding cool. Let's see what we can find in terms of... Um, like a vocal, maybe in the Lauren Lamont pack. Uh, my samples. Uh, or actually, I've just got a little idea. These drum fills are really cool. Even just like that one. Turn it down. Put it at the end of the phrase. Here. You might need to re-warp it. Ooh. And the, the swing as well is going to need to put that on. Okay, I need to fix this. Hmm. Maybe here? There we go. I don't need this. And just... There we go. Nice little drum fill. A bit of reverb. The reverb will add a bit of noise going into here, which is what we want. Um, okay. Just did that randomly, but maybe we get some actual vocal now. Uh, where are we? Samples. This. Yeah, something in here. What am I in? F minor. Don't give, don't give it up. Never let me down. Yeah, that could work. And I kind of want to format it, so I'm just going to use this plugin called the Source. That's cool. I wonder if there is another bit which would be really nice, um, like uh, a response. See me in the run into my arms. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, down. Uh, up. Kind of sounds like she's saying, run into my ass." <laughs> run into my ass. Uh, maybe not that Don't one. Let me down. I guess that would make sense. There we go, uh, but the key is wrong. This is B minor. Down six, or if I go to the fifth. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like it's a different tone. Can't do that. And there's fire burning. Give me something. 
I'll give you a I don't wanna be the one I don't wanna love you I don't want nobody else Is this real, your love? Don't wanna lose myself These are all cool, I'm just trying to think how to match them up I think if I put this on a different channel Don't want to lose my Jesus Turn it down Don't want to lose my Okay, and let's put this on to the F Hmm, I do like that, but it does it match up? I don't like that it's a lot slower, maybe. That tonality is just like a little bit different. Just say how you feel. I wonder if there's one that's similar. Just tell me now. Could you let me be? It's tearing me apart. Don't say it's over. That's one I used before. I won't go. Uh -huh. Where you belong. Or if there's something here. Let's just have something in here. Maybe just these things, because I imagine these have been used a fair bit now because the pack came out a while ago, so I'm going to just use these. Yeah, that with just reverb, just cover it a bit. Just have some little underlying melody thing. Touch me in the mouth. <laughs> Alright, so something like this, probably put a side chain on it just because there's a lot of reverb. I just want it to duck around the other stuff. I think I've gone a bit strong with this. Now, we do a bit of a melody, like more of a melody, some kind of running moody arp. Let's go with Serum again. Maybe it's time for Diva to do a bit of, a bit of work. So we'll go basic waves. I've not tried any of these, so let's see. <laughs> that is a big sound. Alright, I just want a pluck, I think. Right, 
Very nice. from that and I will I just want something simple and repeating so we go F maybe just do like um, too loud Maybe do like a walk down, do like Let me just get rid of this vocal for a sec. be more subtle Just um, do some automation. Nice. 
I think maybe this vocal is too much, like all, all of it, maybe just this little one. Just the tone is not perfect. Maybe... The swing kind of messes with it a little bit. I want this to be on flat. Never let me down. Nah, just messed it. Hmm, do I want it to be on maybe? Yeah, maybe like that. All right, and then I'll need a little bit of a vocal kind of one shot thing, uh, like a da da da. That's what I'm going for. Don't know how long I've been recording for now, but I hope I've got a bit more time because, well, there's no time limit, so I guess I can do this for as long as I want. But I'm sure you guys don't want to watch like a five hour video. And I'm hoping I've got like another hour or so so I kind of just want this little uh. Check the key. I don't think that's the right key. I mean, it is F, but it doesn't sound right. Just want to do. It's on the fifth, uh, I believe. If there is, it should be. Yeah, it's the fifth. So yeah, it should sound all good, which it does. But uh, I kind of want a bit of something else.
maybe I do like this. And then take the tuning off because it's kind of weird. And then put this. Not a lot of choice. Maybe just that. I think I've got enough elements here to do a bit of an arrangement. So I'll start with the drums maybe. Drone. We can do more subtle drums here. So just not the, I think it's this one, or is it this one? Yeah, that one. It's loud. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the right key. And it's too loud. Not ready yet. Feeling that vocal. That's better. Just maybe do like this. Needs a little mm, this. And that. Okay, so then here we need some some change. I like it up until here. All good. I think I fill this in.
a little break. And here is where I need to do a bit of magic. Um, so I'm going to have to change some things, I think. Let's just see. I think I need to have this pad come up here. And these start like <laughs> I mean, it grooves nicely like that, it's subtle, but I kind of want to do something that's a bit like, ooh, uh, this I think is a bit too loud as well. Uh, it's too loud. Too loud, yeah. going to be that I switch up this thing and the bass. I think I'll just put these together and do something cool. So we do like a, like a double hit or something like that. I don't know. So uh, let's just copy or duplicate this. Yeah, and then do this, do this, focus. So we start with the this one. And yeah, make sure it's on 16s. And now I'm, I'm going to do like something like that. Actually, let me just mute the bass. Confusing. Yeah, something like this, maybe with the fifth. Uh, wait, I think this is not playing. Uh -huh. Yeah, now the whole time it's not been playing <laughs> both the notes. It's probably just been playing the bottom note. But anyway, so do Then maybe hmm. it's like it's okay, but it's not that cool. I think I will duplicate this. Um, no. Yeah. Let's try 
side with the base added in. something not quite complete about it bottom bump bottom bump maybe it's like a double hit here I think the yeah, it needs that Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -ba. D -d -d yeah, I need like a hit here. D -d -d. Yeah, so then if the bass does that as well. Ah, dang it. Maybe like this. And this, and this, um, uh, I'm confusing myself, purple, like that, do this, and then here, Maybe this should be the same here. I mean, it's kind of nice that it's varied, but actually, yeah. But we want that. Yeah, it needs to have this kind of duh, duh. It feels a bit weird about it. So we just copy that, or is that buried? Copy. I get so confused looking at all these MIDI notes. It like fries my brain. All right, there. One day I'll be good enough that I could just play things on a keyboard. <laughs> I think this is too loud though, I need to chill a bit. I think I'm just going to put like a Pro L um, First maybe I need to just balance this. Yeah like this needs to have less Sounds like it's got so much reverb on. And 
and then set this volume I'll just set this to minus 10 kick being at minus 6 is 4 dB and then I just reset oh, no. yeah, that's all good. go a bit louder maybe like uh, 8 Try a bit of um, saturation. Oxygen inflator is the best. Okay. This is going to be super loud. Oh, maybe not. Now it's a bit too loud, so we'll just come down. I've made it quite a bit less dynamic, but it's quite full now. Alright, now we'll add a bit more interest to the drums here. I think I'll add... Um, did I add the snares here? No. So we'll go over to the drum pack. Uh, my samples, uh, basic waves, where is it, here, and then uh, one shots, grab the snares, and do like this. what it would be like if I did a chord change here so if we do this I'm going a bit wild now but and I don't think I've got time to go this deep but I kind of want to show you like yeah what I would do in my real project so I'm just gonna kind of maybe I need to mute some of the melodics but I want to do like a going up or something like that I'm not sure so we'll do um and then if the bass was up some of these don't really work And then it's just I keep having to move these back and forth. Maybe in here. And then this. What if I kept this? the same this thing and then we go down I think I need to just mute the this reset needs to be with it it's this G here 
sounds a bit weird. That works as a progression, but it gets a bit too deep here. And I could just go up, which would be very optimistic. We'll go down to the F. So then this would be just the original, <coughs> which is here. <coughs> uh, where are we? Here. Oh, so confused. I want this to be. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And so, oh. that. And then, if we just pair this up, I might just redo the um, chords. So we do like this. Sounds naff on its own. It's the little da da, which doesn't sound great on the other notes, like here. Maybe if I try an even bigger chord. Do like the fifth, which is... Yeah, I mean space is better. There's just no it's just This sound is a bit too unclear and distorted. Or maybe it's not. It's probably just a combination of the two. It's off. Yeah, it's just a bit loud. Here we do a um, whatever it was, I think it was this. And then do another F here.
Okay, nice. I've spent quite a bit of time. Oh, I haven't actually saved it. Probably should save it at some point. Uh, basic garage thing. Uh, okay, so I mean, I could cut here, but I kind of I'll do a bit of a bridge. I wanted to do a full start to finish, but I think I've been recording for quite a while. Let me just check. Oh, it's not been that long. An hour and 23. I think that's right. Oh, this isn't moving. Wait one sec. Hmm. Wish there was a way to tell how long. Oh, yeah. It refreshes. Yeah, cool. So I haven't been going too long. Now I'll, uh, I'll carry on. So I need some atmosphere here. And need a bit more atmosphere in the track. Let's just go from here. Probably take away the, the bass on that kick as well, just at the beginning. I'm probably going to do a little looking at the mix. I mean, it's not too far off because I've been doing stuff along the way, but I just want to see if I've got anything that's too loud or whatever. It's good to just kind of recheck yourself before you wreck yourself. Uh, go here. here. Why is that? That doesn't really matter. Uh, we want this. What am I doing? There we go. I'm going to see what drones I've got and like just atmospheric things. That's just gave me an idea for some chords I could put in here, but yeah, I'll come back. Yeah, whatever that is, it's just... Just drown it in reverb. See what there is in basic waves. It'll be, be better if I use that stuff. Um, and I've not checked it yet. There might be some cool thing. I don't even really know what I'm looking for here, but I think maybe just like atmosphere. I guess some noise stuff here would be cool. Um, like these atonal ones. Yeah. Probably should check them one by one. Like, let's just find little bits like this and... There 
Yeah, it's nice. I think I just want a classic bit of white noise, <coughs> which I have saved here somewhere. <coughs> this, <coughs> this very loud thing, it just works really well like this. Just having that, and we just put these together. <coughs> and then just use it again here. Excuse me, I need some water. They're not there. Probably somewhere here. Yeah. Let's just label where we are a bit. Uh, drop two. And then this is drop one. on this I kind of want more impact here and I don't know whether it's that I need a a sound. I might also just do a little bit of a piano thing here, that could be nice. Like that sound, or the loop that I found, gave me a bit of inspiration. Let's do some... Did I mute this? No. Why is that not playing? Ah, oh, it's probably broken. Yeah. some reason it just decides to not work sometimes I want some like kind of distant dusty piano I think might go for the unicorner actually because that's what will give me more of that feeling uh, like this one. Interesting line. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel right. Dun, dun. It needs to be. No.
too much of a jump down, so maybe I do need to end on like. Dum. It feels like a separate chord. But that doesn't feel right. Maybe if I end on the F. And then I need to move these. But then that sounds right with the melody. Mm, problem solving. Yeah, I think that's right. Mm, what am I doing here? Do just keep that the same. Fill the chord out a bit, see if it sounds warmer. Um. Yeah, let's make it a bit bigger. Maybe there's some cool some thing with this raw. I'm sure it's like dust or something like that. It just adds like might be this. Repeat like that. It's a bit too dusty here. I need it to be a bit louder. Let's use a compressor. How do I connect those two? I've gone all pretty here and then it just goes into moody moodiness. Uh, and also this is a bit too loud. I wonder if I could get the the uh bass thing to follow these chords and it still sound cool <laughs> let's see uh, how can I do this so if I do this just do from the bass for now and we go yeah there maybe I'll leave that for now yeah, I think this is going to work. And then we'll just put a gap here. And then this here. Here. I should have saved the MIDI from before, but oh well. In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh. Yeah, 
yeah, so that works. Let's just do, I think I'm playing this at the same time. So then, ah, there's a second part to it. So here, this needs to duplicate. Here. Whew. Uh, here, here. Okay, that should sound good. And now I need to do it with this. Uh, here. Yeah, might as well do that. That's not right. Of these. Something isn't sounding right, and I think it's just the art. Well, I'll come back to it. Or I get rid of this sound that I'm working on now and have just piano and the bass, but I think it might be a bit uh, empty if I do that. <laughs> And then this. It does kind of work. Finish it off. It's the second part. Be like this. Ah, it's pretty much identical to do. Maybe like that. Get rid of this. <laughs> This is not, this is what's causing the problem, I think. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, it should be on the, um, the C shot. Probably too many mids. All right, now, if something doesn't feel quite right with it, I think I'm going to have a look at the, um, the ARP, if I could maybe harmonize that more. Or if I just mute it here. Yeah, that's better it's now not clashing but it's just like very low and rumbly I wonder if I just did the top note off this uh, let me just and then here Yeah, I mean, it's clearer like that. Um, 
like this. Yeah, that gets so low. Does work, does sound kind of cool. Let's just go from here. Yeah, I do like it. It does work. There's something about it that feels uh, unclear. I think I need to listen to just like this and this. It could be just all of this. It's a bit much. But it does sound cool on its own. Maybe we just... Also, there's probably no side chain, so let's do a bit of side chaining. And really, I could probably get the um, bass to be punching through here. Side chain from the bass group. Do this. That's a bit clearer. I just want some some sound that's a bit more like hooky uh, to come in so I, I, I'm going to try make something here or maybe there's something in the old basic waves that would solve all my problems
That's pretty nice. Uh, it's not quite like bang. I think I'm harmonizing the wrong note, so it just uh, it's not wrong, but it sounds cheese. Turn it down a bit. Yeah, there we go. See, now when this melody comes in, it needs to harmonize with this more. So let's just look here. Because I'm doing a chord progression. So it, like this note is going to sound weird. So it's Yeah, and then do that. Ah, okay, and then duplicate it, and then do that. This layer is even needed. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, now, wait, which one is which? Yeah, main, top, lead. I do like this playing those notes, so I just wonder if I play different ones, it would sound better, but I think I'm gonna leave it, it sounds pretty cool. I think what I need to do is just bring this in here and filter it. sound maybe the amp do the trick
patch. Like it. All right. So um, now maybe a bridge, but I don't know what I'm going to do on the last drop because I've kind of given a bit away. Um, I could make this bridge longer. Let's just have a listen. really adding anything. is adding a slight like weird tone I think I've done something here well, maybe ah. this could be louder <laughs> something about this. It might be this. just going to obsess over this sound for ages if I don't move on. Okay, so how long have I been going now? Let's see. Uh, I think we're still under two hours. So I'll do a bridge. Like a long bridge. I think I'm going to do it here. I guess that would make sense. So let's do like this. To get rid of the snare here. Maybe this melody carries on. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking to do there. I was thinking I'd just let it like run down and then suddenly come in with a drop. I might try and do something like that. Uh, kind of like an unexpected drop. Let's, <clears throat> let's have a look. So 
I'll just move this. Um, where are we? Here. This carries on. Maybe like here. If I done something weird with the arrangement. If this was to carry on, it would be here. So the drop would be there. Drop main. This is where this could take some time, but let's okay. <laughs> Something about this now that I'm not enjoying. Let me just see if I can. Yeah, I think I made it too bright or something. Let me just. It's a bit too dull now, but. Yeah, so I'm thinking to maybe bring this in just here. Uh, if there's enough information here, which there kind of is, there's a piano and then a chord change. filter these drums down <laughs> just so it's a bit smoother let's just put a little marker here
think I'm going to just evolve the drums a bit. Maybe some other pad here. nice with the profit. I think I'll have that in. It's pretty muddy but uh, I can fix that. Just put a bit of a Pro MB. Uh, I've already got one. Just get the piano. Put it into here. Or even just put it on all of the Just check that this is not playing a fifth. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that works. Maybe a bit more interest on the bridge. add a bit of data life cheat a little bit on this just to add a bit more tension I think I might add a little loop here, see what we've got in the pack. Just some kind of um, like hat loop. Uh, here, hat loop. The timing's off of the groove. I need to, just need to imagine it sounds good. All right, let me. Yeah, maybe just a sixteenth one. That's going to work. Uh, groove. Just need to make sure it's really on time. I think it's. Have a listen to things. This, I just can't decide if this is really adding anything. I'll take it away because it's just filling the mix. Aha. This is where I'm hearing the story. Okay, I'm going to add one other layer here. And it's going to be with the, um, with, what am I trying to say? Playbox. Because Playbox is the best. 
and I always forget about it. It's really nice to just add like atmosphere and textures. Just load it up if it's going to work. Uh, okay. So I, I kind of want to load my chords in here, but it doesn't always work that well. Let's just see. Sometimes it's better to just find something in the key and then it kind of harmonizes in this nice way. Uh, so if I lock this key in and then I uh, could just go with these chords. And I'll just randomize stuff. We could just randomize all of this. No, I think I need the chords in here, otherwise it's going to sound weird. So to get the chords, I need to extract them. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, Command Shift E. Go here. Uh, F minor chords. Uh, garage tune. And then um, we go into here. Then bring up file finder. Ah, this is the problem I have. It doesn't stay up when I click. Oh, there we go. I've got it on my other screen. So yeah, bring this up. Go to my MIDI. You can't see what I'm doing here, but uh, yeah, every time I click, it comes off. I'm trying to remember how I fix this problem. So if I, I wonder if I just drag them. Yeah, if I drag them like this. There we go. Okay, so now when I press, and what I want, want to do is get the timing the same. So I put this here. This is, took me a long time to figure out how to do this with Playbox, but once you get it, it's good. So, I only need one note because it's already going to play the chords just from each note. And I also, but I need it to start on C3. So you kind of have to ignore these notes here. Take off the scale. Take this off. And then you put this onto, onto the C. Uh, so this one. And then the next chord is this one. And then the next chord is this one. And so you just do it like this. And you have to just play the white notes. And this theoretically should work. Uh, but this technically will be the same chord. And actually, so would this one. So, yeah, I think it's these that change. So, uh, am I on the wrong C? What's going on? Right, so it's all, it's playing the chords, which is great. But I don't want it there. Maybe. And I don't want this sound. So let's just, now we've got this all locked in. Uh, I need to lock it. Like that. Then we just mess around with this. And I want some paddy. So I'm, com I'm basically going between these samples, which is like the randomized one-shot samples, and then this effects chain, which is sick. And I, I always used to get better results from just ran randomizing it, rather than just trying to dial it in. But usually I'll try and find something and, and then dial it in. Right, this is cool. a bit too random though.
be changing this. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to do this. Take a while, but once I get there, it's nice. That's actually a pretty cool layer, uh, just like some kind of human thing in there. So I'm gonna just resample that <coughs> or record that uh, solo. solo. Kind of works with that melody. Don't know what happened there. Ah, something is messing up here. One second. <coughs> so this. One of the chords it goes too high where it can't actually play it. I think it's this one. So this needs to be the same as one, two, three. The fourth chord is the same. This is a bit confusing, but yeah, the fourth. Uh, so this one is the same as F. <laughs> Take that layer, creepy. Um, just call this chatter, and then we just turn this down and take this off. No input. Uh, turn it down. Go this one, and then just find some more stuff. <laughs> That's really cool. Let's have that one in there. I think this I can move here. Really want it quite low. And then let's just get an audio from contact seven. Really cool pad. I don't think I would ever make that if I just like tried to do it myself. I wouldn't think to make it. That's why I love Playbox. It's like really cool, um, inspiring stuff. Okay, so we call this noisy pad, and this can filter in. It's quite a lot of reverb on it, but I think that's what makes it sound cool. All right. Just 
need to get this drum fill. Keep not seeing it. Probably take away some of the lows. Yeah, really cool. It sounds a bit more epic now. Um, I think that's it. So I'm just going to obviously duplicate this out. And then maybe here do something with just that melody. Um, ah, this melody stopped here. Maybe we keep that going. Also here the melody gets a little bit stale. So just do something here. Even just little bits like that, maybe starting on a opening here yeah and then is there anything more I can add maybe this pad as well I can be doing this cycle I think these wumps are probably not right um, or maybe they are let's have a look uh, it's playing off the bass. 
Yeah, that's right. I think I'll just turn on. I can't hear it. If I can't hear something, I'll just turn it off because it's just taking up space in the mix. Uh, I mean, you could try and make it so you can hear it more, but then you, know, you don't really need it. Adding these little sevenths here are really nice. That's, that's called a seventh uh, chord. So you go to the note below and then put it up two octaves. Uh, yeah, just adds a little bit of interest. And now I'm pretty much there. Maybe some little snare thing here. There's one note here which is a bit dodgy, which is then, um, which is probably like this one. There. There's so much clicking going on from this. I have this old compressor. From Ableton 8 that doesn't have the click. Bass so low here. Uh -huh. I think what I'll do here, sorry, I'm talking at the same time. What I'll do here is change the bass just. Because you know, switch it up. We'll just do a sustain bass. Uh, serum. We'll do. Just do like a Reese. Maybe there's something cool in here. Um, look, Reese. There we go. Go to the the chords. There's like no room for this <laughs> Reese. I've got a lot of low end stuff, but I'm just gonna try and put it in and then I'll side chain stuff or I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do this. Cause I've now added like thick chords in this area. So it's not likely it's gonna Well it'll work, but we'll see. It's too low, I think. Too loud. I think I could add a, this Reese on the break as well. Just to add tension. 
we'll see what other ones are. too much low end here so like just kind of the impact isn't there uh I this i don't know what this is oh yes yeah, for the kick done here let me just fix this I do something cool here, so I do like a a gap. So we do like this. So it's like shh. this. Hmm. What was I thinking here? Yeah. kind of want like hmm. nah I don't think it's gonna work okay I'm not gonna do that I think maybe just like a little double kick I just want some kind of uh, I don't know refreshing sometimes I do too much all right so with this maybe i can open it up a bit uh so we just gradually open it yeah yeah just to end the tune Yeah, that works. Um, what's it going to do here? Kind of don't want it to just end abruptly. Maybe like this.
it's like a little gap. Uh, where are we? Yeah, something like that, so it's not just super abrupt, maybe just filter this down. Cool, and there we go. Yeah, got there in the end. Um, we'll have a little playthrough from the beginning. It probably is going to be some things I've noticed and maybe I need to just touch up the mix. So yeah, we'll just do that for the last few minutes. Sorry, there's just this. I don't think I need that. This melody here, it's clashing with the chords, so I need to change it. I'm thinking to not have this here. Let's see. And just for here, I'll probably put this a little bit dustier and then. going to do is have this melody because it's just this change from here to here is a bit odd uh, from into that different one so what I'll do is maybe have this actually yeah I can leave it it's not really clashing too bad it just makes it sound different
this. All right, cool. That's pretty much it. A little rough master on there. Um, yeah, I like it. It's, uh, it's a bit like nostalgic in a way. That's the this arp does a lot of lot of work for the track. Uh, I'm going to just do a single playthrough without touching it, just so um, people can skip to it at the end uh, it, on the video, or you guys can skip to it, so you can see uh, what it sounds like <laughs> without watching the whole thing. So I'll do a playthrough, but um, I'll just say bye now because I'm going to cut the video after that. So thank you everyone who has uh, watched this one. Make sure you subscribe to the Basic Waves channel um, and check out the drum pack. I'm uh, yeah really proud of this pack. I put a lot of work into it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it um, and it will support me and support Jules if you uh, if you got it. So yeah, let's uh, have a little playthrough. I'll catch you guys in another video. If you want to check out my channel, it's called Out of the Loop. I have some start to finishes and some other videos. I don't upload that often, but yeah, I try to. And I also do teach production. So if you guys want to get taught by me, um, I have a Patreon you can sign up to and I can teach you through there. But yeah, anyway, let's uh, play the song and uh, yeah, catch you in the next video.